men, this is why it's important to vet your woman, to understand her makeup, her mentality, where she comes from, is she cooperative, is she smart? This is why you have to vet your partners, okay? This next clip is going to explain why. Do you know if you sleep with more than five guys, your chance of a happy marriage after 10 years goes from 80% to 25%. Why? Because the more men you sleep with, you lose your ability to bond with each one. So if you sleep with one guy, you're going to compare the next guy to him. If you sleep with 10 guys, you compare all 10. If you sleep with 20, you compare all 20. You're not likely to be divorced, but you're more likely to leave if you it's did important. that. important. The woman you're dating, does she have a father in her life, right? If he died, unfortunately, you can't do anything about that, but you should learn about him, right? From other people, from uh, her mother, from cousins, from nephews, from nieces, from her brother, from her sister. It's important to understand what type of man her father was or is, you know what I mean? You gotta do your homework. A woman, a woman, that one woman, could ruin your life can change your future, can change the course you were supposed to go on. The women that you decide to choose to marry, to wife up, society is going to look at you, what type of man you are. Because if she is not of quality, you're not gonna look upon as a smart man a high-valued guy. I don't know world. about a lot of girls. I just know about me. <laughs> I know that I like one nigga shit. I might like two. <laughs> what the fuck? One nigga, two nigga, red nigga, blue nigga. I don't fucking know <laughs> shit. It might just, just like if a nigga want a threesome, he look at two bitches like, damn, I'll fuck both of them bitches. Bitch, I, why we can't feel like that? Like, damn, bitch, I'll let, ooh, bitch, they fine. Bitch, I don't give a fuck if they was real brothers. <laughs> so bitch y'all yeah, I don't know I may hop maybe they do but I know I can't speak for no other body uh, other women I can only speak for myself and yeah. bitch I want to get took in the fuck down <laughs> yeah I be wondering that because I know like how we are but we yeah. be more open on some women yeah because because y'all don't have no judgment like you could say that openly and nobody not gonna judge you if yeah, I say that do, I don't give a fuck no for <laughs> sure but it's like with females you know we get judged for little shit like that yeah. oh, you, oh. well I don't give a fuck bitch I am a hoe so I don't give a fuck I'm gonna tell you what the fuck I feel but other people other women well, no I would never <laughs> I would say that me bitch period let's go the posture look at her mannerisms I don't give a F. One guy, two guys, three guys. I do what I want to do. And they kind of say this. Women that have different color hair or a lot of tattoos that smoke, that's, that's drinking, they're usually the ones that are promiscuous women. The ones that have to go to the club because they can't stay home. They need the attention, the bright lights. Be very, very careful. Alright, and the last one for the uh, truth of the drink is how, how many men have you slept with? Oh shit. You know what? I'm gonna drink to that one. I don't know if I. You know, you know what? Let me stop being a pussy ass hoe. <laughs> Honestly, I don't fucking know. I can't even answer the question truthfully because I don't fucking know. I don't keep track. Who the fuck keeps track of how many niggas they fuck? Like, that's just like. A, like, I don't know. Let me see. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna tell y'all some shit I ain't never told nobody. So this is a very exclusive interview. I lost my virginity at 12 years old. So bitch, I've been fucking for a long time. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm not saying that to just like, I'm just telling my truth. Okay, I've been literally, I remember I lost my virginity at 12 years old. I remember the boy, everything. I remember the whole day like it was yesterday. But um, 12, bitch, to now, mm, it's, it's been a lot. Girl, is it just my body Not count everybody. for just niggas or niggas and bitches? Everybody. Mm. Uh, I would say like, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I say like 2,000. <laughs> To be real honest with like if you put niggas in bitches, because I done fucked a lot of bitches too. So I be fucking niggas, I be fucking bitches. And 
I mean, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna front. Like, I'm gonna, t- I'm gonna keep it blood raw. Like, bitch, probably two, two bands, <laughs> two, two thousand bitch sexual partners. Absolutely. Yeah, it is what it is. You know what? Hey, only God could judge me. I don't give a fuck. Disgusting. She should be ashamed of herself. But in modern day society, women are told to be sexually liberated. To tell your business how many sexual partners I have. Because you are powerful, P power, only to find out when they turn 30, 35 years old, they can't pair bond, right? They got different energies in them. Microcomerism, look it up. Microcomerism, that's why women don't know who's the baby daddy, even though they had intercourse with this person three months ago, six months ago. A year ago. 2,000 bodies. Let's give her the benefit of the doubt. Out of that 2,000, let's say 1,000 different penises in her. 1,000 different men. I mean, whoa. This is why so much men are creating red pill content that are not getting married. You can't win. But on a serious note, we all need to pray for that young lady. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what happened in her life. Even though we are judging her, content creators, we we respond to these videos. But someone needs to talk to her. Someone needs to pray for her. Seriously. We don't know if she's been great. We don't know her childhood. We don't know anything. But 12 years old she started. 12 years old. Her first sexual experience. That's why it's so important to have a man in the household. Be mindful of the women you choose in your life. That's why it's so important to take your time. That's why it's so important to allow God to leave you and not your emotions. This is Isaac Esau Gay. This is another episode of Analyzing Ignorance. Thank you for watching. Peace.